Uh, all right. We have a lot of stuff to get through. I have a very thick piece of paper, pieces, you know. Um, but first of all, first and foremost, it's really, really, really important to make sure that we recognize all of the people behind the scenes who made today possible. This means sponsors. This means the district planning committee. This means volunteers. This means the field crew, the pit crew, the scoring table folks, the judges, the ref everyone who we've been talking about all weekend. Can you guys please give the volunteers a big round of applause? And now, as we have ended the competition part of this weekend, take a minute to reflect on what you've accomplished this weekend. The teamwork, developing relationships, learning new skills, preparing for college or the trades, accepting responsibility, building character. You guys did all of that. Give yourselves a round of applause for the amazing weekend that you had. It is not easy to do what you just did, which is design, build, and compete with a sophisticated machine in a really, really competitive atmosphere. By participating in FIRST, you are invested in your future. I hope, really, that you feel encouraged, empowered, and that you can see the benefits of working together as a community. You can do anything with your skills, and the powerful support of the FIRST community behind you. People who know firsthandedly, pun intended, the benefits of a program like FIRST are our alumni. If you are an alumni of any of our FIRST programs, can you please stand up? Let's give a big round of applause to all of our alumni who are here today. Thank you. And for some of you team members, this Rapid React may be your final season. You may be alumni yourselves soon. So if you are a senior, or, or if this is your last year, can you please stand up? And can we please give you a big round of applause? We really look forward to seeing what you guys do as alumni. No pressure, truly. Next up, we want to recognize our mentors for all of the dedication to our students, to the FIRST program. And so if you are a mentor or a coach, can you please stand up? Give them a big round of applause. Wait, 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 wait. Don't sit down. Don't sit down. Keep standing because we're going to do something that shows how deep this knowledge and commitment to FIRST in Indiana goes. If you have only mentored for one year, can you please sit down and let's give them a round of applause. One year is still a big deal, right? All right, now if you've been mentoring for two years, please sit down. Let's give them a round of applause. Let's do three years now. Three years, sit on down. Thank you, really. All right. If you've been mentoring for five years or less, Please sit down. Thank you. All 
Let's do eight years. If you've been mentoring for eight years or less, please sit down. Thank you. Ten. A decade. Fifteen years or less. Twenty years. More than 20, thank you, and please sit down. Let's give him a big round of applause. It really, really, really takes a village to make all of these teams happen, to make this event this weekend happen, and to show that off. I don't know if you guys have seen them. They're kind of hard to miss. They're wearing these bright, bright yellow t-shirts. We have an amazing media crew that's been documenting this weekend, and they've compiled a rap video to show off everything from this weekend. Let's take a look at the screen. <laughs> I love those videos. They're so much fun. Can, can we give it up for our amazing media crew who puts those together? It's a lot of hard work. Next up, I would like to bring out onto the field an incredible group of people to help hand out our awards this evening. Please welcome to the field our judges. To join our judges, please join me in welcoming to the field our referees.
Now, we've got a lot of awards to get through, and we're going to figure it out together. First, as you may have noticed, we've opened up the pipe and drape on both sides of the field, down on the red end. So when you come down, if you are lucky enough to win an award, come down from the bleachers, enter in on either side of the field where Monica is right now, cross over to the side with the camera and with Monica and with all of us facing, sorry guys, and then come down and we will pom-pom you in celebration because of our COVID protocols. You will receive your award hardware and then you can return back to your seats. Does that make sense to everyone? Oh, just kidding. Sorry, 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 sorry. I got it wrong. It didn't make sense to me. You're exiting this way. And then you'll go and you'll get a picture out in the foyer. Does that make sense to everyone? Thank you. All right, folks, let's get started with some awards. Does that sound good? First up, it is the highest rookie seed award, which celebrates the highest seeded rookie team at the conclusion of our qualification events. Please join me in congratulating Team 8742. Next up, the Imagery Award, which is in honor of Jack Kamen, Dean's father, for his dedication to art, illustration, and his devotion to FIRST. This award celebrates attractiveness in engineering and outstanding visual aesthetic integration of both machine and team appearance. This impressive team is driving to be an inspiration to the world. It's impossible to let their scaled robots slither past you. But don't look too closely at their robot or it might just turn you to stone. Congratulations to Team 8232 Girl Gang! Next up, the Gracious Professionalism Aw Award, which celebrates outstanding demonstration of first core values, such as continuous gracious professionalism, working together both on and off the field of play. The winning team exemplifies the principles of first, fairness, humility, positivity, and respect. This inclusive community-based team honors the principles of first core values by opening their build space to other teams. They model gracious professionalism in their actions of lifting up rookie FRC teams and helping to build a stronger first community in Indiana. Congratulations to Team 1720, Fixed Gears!
the Team Spirit Award celebrates extraordinary enthusiasm and spirit through exceptional partnership and teamwork, furthering the objectives of FIRST. The spirit exhibited by this team is pervasive and extends to the community, to the pits, and to the field of play. Their long distance cheering from the top of the stands was on point, and their passion for FIRST is a target that every team should aim for. Congratulations to Team 1646 Precision Guessworks. The Autonomous Award, sponsored by Ford, celebrates the team that has demonstrated consistent, reliable, high-performance robot operation during the autonomously managed actions. The valuation is based on the robot's ability to sense its surroundings, position itself or onboard mechanisms appropriately, and execute tasks. This robot's autonomous function was based on other FIRST program ideas they set their sights on how to automate the shooting process. This process helps find the right targeting angle for maximum accuracy. Utilizing machine vision for automated shooting, they created a code library of autonomous building blocks to plug and play for custom autonomous programs. Autonomous performance was further enhanced using two intakes plus a rotating turret and internal ball magazine sensors for anti-jam two ball pickup. Very impressive. Congratulations to team 3494, the Quadrangles. The Creativity Award, sponsored by Rockmel Automation, celebrates creativity that enhances the strategy of play and was intentionally designed, not just discovered. This team took an innovative approach by including their intake and ball shooter into an integrated unit. This team was also able to give judges a full report on the risk involved with this design choice and how each risk was managed, mitigated, and the lessons that they learned along the way. Congratulations to Team 45, the Tetnocats. The Quality Award celebrates machine robustness in concept and fabrication. Building the robot is really only part of their success and judges recognize them as a quality example to others. This team is prepared for any trouble that may endanger their bot. 
armed with their repair kits and easily serviceable design, this PAX has worked together to design their robot to endure any challenge they may face. Congratulations to Team 5484 <laughs> Career Academy Robotics Wolfpack. The Industrial Design Award, sponsored by General Motors, celebrates the team that s demonstrates industrial design principles, striking a balance between form, function, and aesthetics. This team's robot utilized previous year's experiences to iterate in the development of a really solid turret shooter. They tied their robot design into their team brand right down to their robot's name. Through extensive testing, they realized that they needed to add Herculean strength to their intake system. Congratulations to Team 1501, Team Thrust! The Innovation in Control Award celebrates an innovative control system or application of control components. This can be electrical, mechanical, or software to provide unique machine functions. This team wowed the judges with their insight into vision control. Can code was not going to cut it, so they built their system from scratch. This task was not as easy as Pi and this team experimented with algorithm development to develop machine learning for cargo recognition and went after new knowledge just like a dog with a bone. Congratulations to Team 868 Tech Hounds! The Excellence in Engineering Award celebrates the team that demonstrates a professional approach to the design process and whose design is both elegant and advantageous on the field of play. 
This team recognized common game themes from previous years and used their years of knowledge to identify risks and key strengths. They used a strategic level design process. They know what they CAD do and what they GANT. They really sunk their teeth into the engineering process. This team demonstrated mastery over all aspects of project management. From goal setting to project scoping, they knew the engineering process wasn't just a token effort. These cats unified their sub-teams and iterated to design perfection. Congratulations, Team 3940, Cybertooth! The Entrepreneurship Award celebrates the entrepreneurial spirit by recognizing a team that has developed the framework for a comprehensive business plan in order to define, manage, and achieve the team's ongoing objectives. This team displays entrepreneurial enthusiasm as well as demonstrates the vital planning and business skills to ensure a self-sustaining program. This team is on a mission to promote first with a strong business plan, including impressive one and three year future goals. Their business plan is visually appealing with great information and it's really, really easy to follow. This pack clearly leads the way. Congratulations to team 7454 Huskies on Hogs. The Judges Award. During the course of the competition, the judging panel may decide that a team's unique efforts, performance, or dynamics merit recognition, yet do not fit into any of the other existing awards categories. This team impressed the judges with their involvement across all levels of FIRST, as well as their efforts focused on promoting girls in STEM from mentoring FLL teams and hosting FTC meets to summer camps for girls and working with Girl Scouts on their robotics badge, this team has broadly impacted their community. The judges have dubbed this the Pipeline Award and, and believe that this would make Winston proud. Congratulations to Team 2197, Las Pumas! The district finalist celebrates the alliance that makes it to the final match of the competition. 
first recognizes the talent of these outstanding competitors. They were sensational, and we are proud to honor them. First up, our Alliance captain, congratulations to Team 1024. And congratulations to their first partner, Team 1501. And congratulations to Team 447. Next up, our District Event Winner Award. This alliance rose to the challenge of Rapid React and proved to be an exciting competitive com combination. They can now proudly hang a winner's banner in their print. Congratulations first to the alliance captain, Team 4272. <laughs> Next, congratulations to Team 3940. And Team 6498.
Next up, the Rookie All-Star Award, which celebrates the rookie team exemplifying a young but strong partnership effort, as well as implementing the mission of FIRST to inspire students to learn more about science and technology. This first year team is well on its way to becoming a first team that others will want to pattern. Whether it's adapting proven designs, learning Java, or creating artwork that really pops. This team is certainly ready to attack at competitions. Qualifying to compete for the Rookie All-Star Award at the Indiana District Championship. Congratulations to Team 8742 Argyle Attack! The Engineering Inspiration Award celebrates outstanding success in advancing respect and appreciation for engineers within a team's community. Inspiring others to respect science and technology requires passion, knowledge, and commitment. FIRST celebrates these qualities by presenting its Engineering Inspiration Award. Even though COVID has created many challenges, this team has managed to be safely involved in numerous community outreach programs over the past year to spark the pulse of future generations. This team has had a pulse on first for many years and in recent years put life back into their team from a deep freeze status. They have hosted and or volunteered at 25 first events in recent years impacting over 575 teams. Watch out if you see them spreading their love of STEM and FIRST. Their demo robot might steal your cookies. Qualifying to compete for the Engineering Inspiration Award at our district championship, congratulations to Team 1555 Cryonics! Next up, first Dean's List District Championship semifinalists are outstanding, passionate student leaders who demonstrate exemplary effectiveness at attaining first ideals. They were nominated by their teams for their direct contribution and impact on others, exemplifying leadership and commitment on the team and in their community. First Dean's List District Championship semifinalists recognized here today will move forward to compete at the District Championship. We have two that we would like to recognize here today. When your name is called, please come down so we can celebrate you. First, congratulations to Audrey Henning from Team 2197. And next, congratulations to Jana Wilson from Team 3940. Sounds like Jana is still getting pictures since she was a part of the Winning Alliance. So we will make sure that she gets celebrated and a picture for being a Dean's List semifinalist in a moment. Congratulations to both of our Dean's List semifinalists.
All right, last but certainly not least, it's the Chairman's Award, which is the most prestigious award at first. This honors the team that best represents a model for other teams to emulate and best r embodies the purpose and the goals of FIRST. The Kokomo District Chairman's Award is presented to the team judged to have the most significant measurable impact of its partnerships among its participants and community over a sustained period, not just a single build season. The winner is able to demonstrate progress towards FIRST's mission of transforming our culture. The recipient team will be invited to the district championship where they will compete for the chairman's award against winners from other qualifying events and compete with their robot. Despite the ongoing pandemic, this team raced into action to ensure access to STEM education for those within their community. From starting and mentoring other teams to working with local community organizations, this team drove laps around their competition. Their strong commitment to FIRST has invaded their community and transported them to the next level. Vroom, vroom, and congratulations to Team 461. And because she's back from taking pictures, can we please welcome onto the field and celebrate Jana Wilson, one of our Dean's List semifinalists from <laughs> Team 3940. You know, Maybe one day I'll make it through an award ceremony without crying, but today is not that day. And with that, please direct your attention to the screen for our winning chairman's video. At Drone Robotics, I have nothing, I've had nothing short of a positive and welcome experience. There were a lot of subjects I could choose from, and each of those taught me a new topic I never knew about, such as programming, coding, um, learning how to design things, and engineering. I picked the outreach team because I wanted to learn more and improve my writing skills, and it definitely taught me new um, topics such as technical writing and writing essays and presentations. This is my fourth year uh, on the team. I'm a senior now. Uh, time really flies. But uh, I'd say our tech team, it's a, it's a really great place to be. It's a very modular base. Um, very, uh, it's a place where everyone gets to learn and everyone gets to, be, to do what they want. Um, I'd say it's very kind of modular based where we have a mentor or uh, a more experienced student kind of lead the design process or lead a prototype so maybe a mentor would lead, lead designing a, um, a shooting mechanism or a, a multi-screen student design the giant train and that kind of and that kind of gives um, them experience and because they have the experience with these uh, parts already it kind of makes sure that things will work out 
And then we usually give some of the younger students more of the kind of the manufacturing role. So they maybe they kind of they oversee the design and help to learn about it, but also they do a lot of the building of it and kind of the actual fabrication of it. And that kind of gives them one the uh, realistic design experience, so they know what can be made and kind of what makes sense. They also get to know how to be safe in other shops. The most important part to learn. Robotics is such a welcoming atmosphere, and I've met so many people that I wouldn't have met otherwise. Here, I've learned photo editing, um, designing on Canva, uh, a bunch of tech stuff, and basic robot programming. I really enjoyed our team bonding events, such as going out skating. It really creates a welcoming atmosphere, and I really enjoy what we do at Robotics. <laughs> Congratulations to Team 461! And congratulations to everyone here, all of our teams. Give yourselves a big round of applause for a really incredible competition. And with that, that's all we have for you. Thank you. We're excited to see you at the next competition. And please drive home safe. Have a good night, everyone.